and Rich Trapper tapping in. TNN Trap News Network. You feel me? Rich Trapper. The homie wanted you to uh, whitelist this shit too. Ooh. Rich Trapper. Rich Trapper. He be reacting to your shit. Make sure y'all like, come subscribe for more. This good content we got going on here at TNA Trap News Network. Good news, good news, good news. You can use good knowledge, though. You can't get nobody's college, though. Big dog, make sure you get into that. If you ain't got into that. Like, comment, subscribe for all this good content we got going on, man. Hit that description button, become a part of this rich trapper mafia, man. We are burning these early morning hours, man. It is. 8.30 in the morning, I'm sorry, 8 o'clock in the morning in Los Angeles, 8 o'clock in the morning in Atlanta, 5 o'clock in the morning in Los Angeles, and we up early giving y'all news you can use. Knowledge, you can't get nobody. It's college, big dog. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Like, comment, subscribe, get into that, man. Hit the subscription button, become part of the show for my VF, that notification bell top. Hit all say tap in the latest and greatest what we got going on. And if you ain't did so, man, make sure you hit that follow button, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, tap into the new page, paging team, man. If you ain't into the new page, paging team, make sure you tap into the new page, page in ton. Get into that if you ain't got into that. Today, we're going to get into uh, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Shout out to those guys. Breaking news. Philly artist, YBC Dole, just unalived. And uh, I don't know if y'all know, but that's the same dude who was digging up his op's grave. He was in the graveyard with a shovel, uh, digging up his op's grave. And a day later, he is a grave. We finna jump into this content, man. We got to chill on all this, man. I'm, all I'm going to keep saying is this, man. A lot of playing with the dead. Until you get sat next to him. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. It's very unfortunate, but... Yeah. Let's get into this content. Let's go. All right, so this happened again, man. As you can see here, this is YBC Duel, a.k.a. Mr. Disrespectful. And he's actually at the grave site right now of an alleged op. Now, if you don't know YBC Duel, he made his claim to fame in the Philadelphia rap scene. Drill rap scene, I should say. With very, very disrespectful, straight to the point drill rap aimed at what they call ops. I mean, if you ever listen to his music, it's straight, direct. He name drops and he talks about allegedly some of the things that him and his homeboys actually did to people in the streets. Now, I don't know if he's been convicted of anything yet, but he's. My bad, my bad, my bad. Jump back into this concert on the three, two, one. Let's go. Maybe for entertainment, I don't know. I don't think that I do know is that today it all came to a screeching halt when he was gone. This man digging up, he is really disrespectful, potty mouth bull in the cemetery, digging his op's grave up. And then you're wondering why you ended up in that same cemetery. It's kind of, I ain't saying nobody, I ain't saying nobody deserve with you, bam. But when you get you a whatchamacallit and you find yourself in an ah, ah, ah with a one-two step like Sierra, you might end up in a one-two step like Sierra, big dog. You kind of did this one to yourself, brother. Down and killed, apparently in West Philadelphia. Yes, Mr. Disrespectful himself, YBC Duel, was gunned down and killed today. Now, there's no word on who did it, you know, um, but it, it, I've been watching. I've been watching and I've been... You know, he did interviews on No Jumper. He's been getting around. Like He's very, very popular, and he's, I think, making a big name for himself for all the wrong reasons in the industry. And, you know, when we talk about drill rap, if you ever took the few seconds to actually listen to it, it's totally disgusting. It's a disgusting brand of hip-hop, disgusting. I don't even want to say it's a part of hip-hop, but it is. And it's the most disrespectful trolling thing you'll ever hear i mean these guys are you know talking about things that they did name dropping talking about homicides and even getting very to the very fine detail the drill rap scene at this point has just become full-blown confessions those of people spitting up blood and you know gasping for their last breath it, it gets very graphic and after death you know a lot of these guys talk about smoking on dead ops you know they talk about you know, are they trolling family members? And then the cycle continues because now you slaughter my homie and I got to slaughter your homie. Then he got to slaughter my homie. Then my homie got to slaughter his homie. So the, the cycle. It literally is like an infinity circle. Just you get mines, I get yours. You get mines, I get yours. You get two of mines, I get three of yours. You get three of mines, I get four of yours. It's just constant back and forth. Continues. And what I'll say is because I came up with a lot of guys, you know, that were in the streets heavy deep they ain't really go to school they was in the streets 
And I was always close with him. And I was always, you know, the cool dude. You know, um, and I seen firsthand that a lot of these guys just didn't know the way. Like, this is all they knew. Whether it be 12, 13, 10 years old and, you know, things are bad, no food in the house. They had to get to the bag the fastest way they could. So if you're 12, 13, you really can't go get a per se regular job. You do. You go to the fastest available money. Now, some people may go get a lawnmower, a wee whacker, an edger, and start cutting. Man, that's real. Now, you know, a lot of times we knock on... Uh, my grandfather used to always say, if you knock on the devil's door long enough, somebody will eventually answer. And unfortunately, it seems like that's what's going on with this young man. Um, when you decided to go into that cemetery with that shovel, big dog, you knocked on a devil's door. And you, unfortunately, just got to respect the fact that you got the answer you were looking for. Grass. The other guy may go wash some cars, get some pop olive, some tire spray, some Windex, and go get it. The other guy, you may go do whatever. But then the other guy might just pick up the white girl, the green, and say, look, man, I can make, you know, I put 50 in this, I can make 150 by the end of the night. That's a crazy flip, right? So we have to understand, I think, how life is at the bottom to really understand. I'm not giving these guys an excuse. I'm giving you the reality of the situation. Let's just say, for example, if some people can even envision this, you're born into poverty. Your family don't have nothing, not a, a, a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of, as they say. And, you know, it's, you got to eat. You got a baby sister, baby brother. You got to eat. What am I going to do to get money? I ain't necessarily going to go rob nobody and steal it from somebody. So, look, my homie said, look, here, front me this. All right. I make, you know, it's 50. I give him 50 back. I make 75. I keep it. Buy more. Keep on going and flipping and flipping and flipping. I'm not saying that it's right. I'm saying it's the reality. And a lot of these guys, all they know is the block. All they know is guns. All they know is street. Right. And so this is their life. This is what they know. Even when they do biz, they come back out right to this because this is what they know. And again, I'm not saying that it's correct. I'm just saying this is the reality that, you know, was really going on. And we could talk all we want. Oh, you got to do better. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps and you can go to church and go to this and go to that. And people can pray for you. But at the end of the day. People can pray for you all you want, but if you take them prayers and take them to the cemetery with a shovel, big dog, that's between you and your higher power. Mama's prayers and grandma's prayers can't, can't save you from this type of behavior, big dog. You you did this one to yourself. Back. When it ain't no food, when the light bills is off, when a rent man is coming to put a padlock on the door, how do you respond? Everybody doesn't respond the same way. And I think we have to understand that and meet these people, meet these young children exactly where they are. And help them with a solution. That's all that I'm saying. I don't have all the answers. But I do understand the struggle. And I do understand what these young brothers are going through. And there's no excuse to kill somebody. There's no excuse to be doing anything. But again, you have to meet them where they are. So, look. Rest in peace to this young brother, man. Um, It's sad because a lot of the guys around him are dead or in jail. All the way down like to his right hand, man. So, it's like, man. like You get to see. And witness firsthand the vicious cycle of the streets and the hells, as they say, of North America. But I'm going to digress, man. Like I say, condolences to anyone that may watch this. And um, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Especially Philly, where you at? Shout out to you. What do y'all think about Mr. Disrespectful himself? YBC Duel being killed in the city of brotherly love. Peace. We up out of here, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Tap in with the tap in, man. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. All that good content on it, man. We up out of to the next one. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, subscribe. All this good content on it, man. We up out of to the next one. Free. Avenue Angels, he's free. Red dots to the left. Free. Avenue Angels, he's free. We go.